All right, welcome to another episode of Song Title Challenge, where the question is, climbers, how would you write this one? On these special pull-out episodes, we have climbers, listeners to this podcast, send in their song titles. You can send in one. You can send in as many as you like. Just do me a favor. Don't be redundant. And if you've got a bunch of them, put them in a list. If you've got one and one comes later, that's fine. Put them in separate emails. Don't keep sending me the same list with one new song added on to it or whatever, because then that just, I'm never going to find it. Like, you know what I mean? It's just you're creating a clutter. But you send that in to info at daredevilproduction.com. Production is singular. There is no S. Info at daredevilproduction.com. Put song title challenge or STC in the subject line so that it gets into the right folder. If you don't, it won't. And then I spring them live to Brent. And now we've been doing this on the regular. We have a regular guest on with us, a songwriting guest, artist, songwriter, or songwriter guest. And then together, we do what you should be doing to your hookbook or what you should be doing certainly to prepare before you go into a write. And what sometimes happens if somebody drops like the value bomb line during the beginning of a write and they're like, no, no, that's what we're going to write right there. Then this is what you're going to do in the first 15 minutes of that write, which is just find five or six different conceptual angles that you could write this title to to make sure that you have the right one. You know, sometimes the low hanging fruit is the right one, but a lot of times, a lot of times, the difference between an amateur right and a pro right is just a little bit extra time in the very beginning so that you're trying to write the right thing and, and not being cliche with it. So this is a fun, creative exercise. And to our guest, which Brent is about to introduce here, mm-hmm. This is not a co-write in any way, shape, or form. So you can use everything we say. You can use nothing we say, whatever. But we do require that we get an invitation to the number one party should it turn into something. And if you don't, we'll show up. And, and our, our <laughs> right. guest, our, our guest we'll today know if it goes from, number one. So. That's right. Mm-hmm. And our guest today is from Canada. So he's going to apologize. But I'm going to be there. And I came there to kick butt and chew bubble gum and I'll be all out of bubble gum if you know what I'm talking about. Okay. So Brent, you got anything you want to add to that before we introduce our guest today? <laughs> this is just, it's, it's infotainment, man. We just want to encourage y'all to dig deeper into your song ideas. Cause usually the gold is buried under the dirt. That first layer of dirt and the platinum is under the gold. So we just want to keep on digging. Sometimes the first notion is the best one, but I like to go walk around the block sometimes to come around to where I started, but I, I know where I am. I know that's the right spot. So yeah, man, it's been it's been working for me. I want to encourage you to do it too. And before you introduce our guest, one more thing. Mm-hmm. This is a fantastic way. If you listen to last week's episode, it's a fantastic way to breathe new life into old hooks in your hook book that might be five, six, seven years old or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know what? You don't go back and look at those anymore because you're more excited about the recent ones you put in. They have more energy in them than the first ones do. But if you go back and do this little 15, 20 minute exercise, not only are you going to walk in with something really exciting and a different angle, it's got all that energy is going to go back into it. But if you talk to Brent, I mean, you're going to get some cuts too. Come on. It's I'm getting some of this stuff cut. So I'm a fan. Right, so introduce our guest, please. I can't wait. All right. So our guest today is my buddy and co-writer, Dustin Bird. He's an artist on Open Road Recordings up in Canada. He just released a new single up there called Get Go, which is a jam. You should go listen to it. And Dustin can give us the, the scoop on all that here at the end. But man, he just he and I've been writing together for the last, I don't know, several months, I guess. And it's been fun. So we're actually have a co-write schedule for right after this. So I'm like, hey, you want to do a fun warm up? <laughs> so, John, thank that. you for being here for our warm up. So, That's right. you're, you're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Dustin, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you. I'm excited to be here, man. Before we get started, do you just want to shout out your socials and stuff so people can go and sure. find you? Yeah, man, this past week I've been doing quite a bit on TikTok. So, if you're on TikTok, hit me up over there. It's the real Dustin Bird. But if you just search Dustin Bird on Instagram or whatever, you can hit me up and if you have any great song ideas that you'd like for me to steal, definitely drop them in my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> Always looking for good song ideas. Uh, yeah. This is like this whole thing these boys got going on with this climb podcast is actually uh, genius. Uh, because, uh, yeah. <laughs> all the good ideas come to them and it's a, exactly. it's a vanity thing. And then we get them and then we go with them. So, <laughs> all right. So today's song title challenge comes from. I believe a new contributor here, which is exciting. Cool. A gentleman named Randy Mayner, M A Y N O R, Mayner. I believe that's 
mm-hmm. the way you should pronounce it. And the song is called Hit It Head On. All right. Hit It Head On. Hit it head on. All right. So I know Randy a little bit. I've actually written with him before. So hit it head on. Thanks for sending this in, Randy. Yeah. So my hot take on this is absolute and utter curiosity. Like, I think there's a lot of ways we could go that because it says hit it necessarily, mm-hmm. it's not specific in any way, shape, or form. This right. can be, I can think of ways that this could be a Motley Crue song. I think <laughs> this, this can be, <laughs> you know, there could be a lot of different things, but this truly only limited to our imagination, fellas. I can't wait to see what we come up with. I don't think I've ever heard a song title like this before. So I've definitely heard the phrase a bunch, but yeah, I can't think of a hmm. song right off the top of my head that has that title. So that's, so I like that's that. Start. I just think it's interesting. Like what, is it like, what are they Mm -hmm. talking about? Like Mm -hmm. now I've got a curiosity factor before I press play, you know, so Mm -hmm. possibly maybe not winning before you're spinning, but definitely curiosity. Mm -hmm. I want to find out what's going on. Yeah. And so Dustin, this is one of those things where like, like Johnny mentioned Motley Crue, like it is completely wide open on genre It is Mm -hmm. just throwing stuff against the wall and just seeing what happens. It's all just playing the sandbox. So we might have some concepts that would be perfect in country or some mm-hmm. concepts that would be perfect in Southern gospel or some concepts that would be rock and roll or rap jet, whatever. It doesn't matter. Like you're not constricted by anything on this. It's just, what could we write and, mm-hmm. and come up with the best kind of ideas. So, well, you know what, you know what this reminds me of? There's, we got an artist up here in Canada. He's actually doing quite a bit down in the States in this kind of rock country crossover thing. His name is Corey Marks. And um, he is really, really fantastic in the way that he's been able to bridge those gaps. And actually he had a, he had a feature, he had a song with a feature from Travis Tritt. And so that's sort mm-hmm. of like the, the vibe. It's sort of this like rebel country rock thing. And that's what this title reminds me of a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, hit a head on to me feels like lyrically, maybe it could take like a, almost like that, sort of traditional country route where like look we could take it from like hit a head on you know you 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 could talk about love you could talk about Mm -hmm. life you could talk about right it's it feels like a versatile title and that like it is sort of malleable yeah and at the same time because it's like hit it head on it's a bit of an aggressive action you know maybe maybe bring that into like more of a southern rock type of got some edge to it yeah Yeah. put a little edge on it so that's kind of what this is reminding me of just right out of the gate see i was thinking total of mariah carey no i'm just kidding Mm. no it is not (laughs) (laughs) i don't when you go there though man then then the title takes on a pretty promiscuous uh Uh, angle in my mind you know now we're getting somewhere else so maybe let's back up a little bit (laughs) well i was when johnny said like motley crew i think it's who he said or i was thinking like acdc hit it hit on Mm. you know like (laughs) and anything with head in it like you know how acdc likes (laughs) to (laughs) yeah yeah, they're gonna mean a lot of things they're gonna mean a lot of things brent i love that it was you today that went there with this God bless you. Once Dustin I, see, said, you never cease to surprise me. <laughs> it's, all of a sudden, two horns popped out of Brent's head. They said, head. Well, this is the brainstorming process. You have no idea what doesn't make it into my songs. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, so right off the bat, like, just keep it fun. I think like yeah. this could be like a total anthem this could be Mm -hmm. like a southern rock country anthem or certainly a rock and roll country anthem and it's just about sort of hitting the night head on right like we're taking no prisoners we're gonna go can we came here to party and chew bubble gum and we are all out of bubble gum you know what i mean like like, let's make this throw me that beer get the shots lined up Mm -hmm. we're gonna hit this head on we're not gonna dance around beat around the bush and this could be a great opener right like this is the kind of title that open a show with and just fire Mm. everybody up and let's hit it head on maybe you know like what do you put before hit it head on yeah is it just me like the Mm. uh, soapbox that whatever i I always hit it head on or the uh we're gonna we're gonna hit it head on like that's not because it's like head on dustin said well it's like more kind of aggressive it's it's like direct very direct this whole thing head on man face to face head on and i really like the the travis tritt thing too i could totally hear like the put some drive in your country kind of thing mm-hmm. you know it's like don't just dip your toe in or kind of dance around it it's it's head hit it head on and i could hear that kind of that rebel anthem thing of like 
kind of the anti-politically correct, like, hey, this may get me canceled, but I'm just going to say what I believe. I'm not dancing around. I'm going to hit it head on. Yeah. And you, so you kind of talk about it without getting into the controversial subjects or you can say, hey, you know, people are, you know, people get in trouble here. People are afraid to say anything, but not my, me and my people would hit it head on, mm. you know, or challenges. Of course, we don't run from a fight, you know, when times get tough, it could be that kind of small town anthem. You know, we hit it head on. Yeah. Whether it's yeah, yeah, a, yeah. whether it's a mm. nail or a mm. fight or a, you know, hammer and nail kind of thing, you know, hit the nail on the head. If you play something like that, or when times get tough, we don't run, we hit it head on. You know, I like the analogy there, you know, whether it's a nail or a beer bottle or, (laughs) right. You know, like if you're going to be really, really edgy, right. Like, Mm -hmm. like a pot pipe, you know, Mm -hmm. we hit it head on with everything. So if you're going to come to this town, you better buckle up. You better buckle up. Right. And don't, don't don't come in trying to do anything else, but get along. Cause we're going to hit it head on. <laughs> right. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. Okay. That yeah. kind of went there. I was a like, long head on. I was going to say, yeah, I was like, yeah, I want to get along, but at the end of the day, I'm going to hit it head on or something. If I ain't going to go along just to get along, hmm. you know, going to hit Ooh. it head on. I so like that's that. that. Yeah. Especially when you put in that kind of Southern or even just a rock thing, but like mm-hmm. the Travis Tritt kind of driving your country or yeah, kind of a little more aggressive, but just saying, Hey, I'm going to, I'm going to say what I believe. I'm not, because a lot of people feel that way. I think that's something that could connect a lot of people. Like, I feel like I can't say anything. I'm scared to death to say what yeah. I think and to talk about things that, wow, used to be just obvious to everybody. <laughs> and now mm-hmm. it's not. But then also the other side of it is a lot of, and maybe this could go in the in the same song is, hey, yeah, and we got our challenges. But, you know, this country doesn't back down, whatever. You know, we're going to whatever we're going to face it and you're going to hit it head and on we'll put a boot in your ass we'll blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. it's like a big rah rah military kind of thing it could be a military thing or just like internally like what's going on in economics and covid and all this stuff you know talk about yeah mm-hmm. we got our challenges i would like to hear it almost interpreted like if you took al dean and brantley gilbert mm-hmm. and you put those two guys on it because i mean i'm thinking like when you're saying like a show starter right like lights mm-hmm. come on or something like that and then mm-hmm. you get like the sort of read me my rights, Brantley Gilbert type of friggin, <laughs> you know, just yeah. that. I mean, he's hitting that head on. He's going full yeah. steam on on that. So I think that'd be kind of interesting because I think like title like this, you either do something like that and really make it impactful and inspiring and you mm-hmm. lift people up in a way that makes them feel like, yeah, I can take this day head on, you know, or like, yeah, like mm-hmm. I'm kind of down right now, but no, this is the right perspective. Or I think it feels more like something you, you inspire in, in a more subtle way. Like then you start talking about love and then you start talking about things that are a little bit less like my everyday and a little bit more like just my general philosophy on life. Mm -hmm. But I think both ways are valid. I just feel like in terms of excitement, I'd like to hear it with a little bit more grit, a little bit more dirt. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it could, for a show opener thing, it could totally be the, I'm not dancing around this Friday night or whatever. I'm going to hit a head on. I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to not mm. be timid and, and shy and that sort of thing. And I wonder if you could even, you know, talk about there's that girl and I've been, I have a choice here. I can be shy. I can kind of make eyes half the night just kind of trying to catch her eye or I can just hit a head on, go up and say hi and want to dance. So not like in a... That's going to be very edgy because of the uh, word hit it. (laughs) uh, Yeah. that would be, And that's the thing I... I, Because in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, okay, let's not be rapey here, right? Yeah. Like, you (laughs) have to build it. That's such a thing. Yeah, I guess, you know, because once you start talking about relationships, you got hit it, that that could both be domestic abuse and sexual at the same time. I was thinking sexual (laughs) with that. I I, I, I don't think... I don't think anybody would miss... Construe. I don't know, man. Everybody <laughs> seems to be able to misconstrue things pretty easily. So I think, <laughs> yeah. like, that you would know, be vulgar. Yeah, be vul- but I think if like hit it, I'm going to hit it head on. They think I'm going to go over it, like you know, hit it and quit it. That's what, yeah, like comes to. So it just seems yeah. like it almost yeah. could be like demeaning to the girl. It could be taken that way. So you right, be careful. and so you. That's the thing you got to be careful about. Like maybe I'm going to hit my fear head on, or I'm going to. You'd have to frame it. it. It's touchy that way. It is dangerous that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'd have to really set it up right where you're not being demeaning to the girl that it's not. In country. Now, in rock, 
I mean, that's yeah, like, your mileage wave may the vary. Flag. <laughs> <laughs> In rock and roll, that's that. That's going to be a number one hit. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. I don't know, man. Rock, rock's been really interesting lately. Like, I, I've found that, like, the rock playlists that I listen to have felt really diversified lately. And yeah, it's kind of like, where is rock? Yeah, it's quite cool, and I think it's taking on like a lot of different life forms. This though, yeah, it definitely feels like more of a throwback idea. Definitely mm-hmm. feels like more of like a, I don't even want to say traditional, right? Maybe like a new traditional or something. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? For, for like a country thing? Well, for like, yeah, for like a Southern rock like mm-hmm. type of vibe. That's kind of yeah. what I'm getting from this. And yeah, I mean, I think, I think lyrically it could be, because I mean, when I just look at the title, like hit it head on. Yeah, there's so many ways that you could interpret that just negatively, just right out of mm-hmm. the gate. Yeah, and if you don't dance around that effectively, then yeah, you could definitely trigger some people in mm-hmm. some type of way. But I, I mean, I think that whole Southern rock thing tends to get away with a lot more. As yeah, well. <laughs> I mean they <laughs> yeah. just they just do. And I mean, I don't I don't even know if that's if that's really something to consider. I, I think now you know it's in this day and age, like. I don't think you can really rely on a genre to give you leeway. I think yeah. you just got to write it for everybody. And, you know, but I feel like it's re- it'd be a really dangerous game to like not or to address the title in a way that is potentially offensive mm. or potentially triggering for somebody, even though it is in that genre. Like, well, it depends on what it is. Well, right. You have to be very clear. I wonder, though, it makes me think, like, could you flip it on its head since there's that kind of the danger of, like, if we don't want to be misogynistic or, or whatever with this, mm-hmm. especially not, like, in a country genre or pop or whatever. But what if it is, like, if I see you somebody mistreating a girl, if I see Me Too thing kind of happening, I'm not just going to let boys be boys and not say anything. I'm going to hit it head on. I'm going to stand. So it's actually, like, I'm going to stand yeah. up for the women in my life women strangers yeah. whatever well, that's, like that's kind of what i was getting at with the read me my rights thing like mm-hmm. that feels sort of you know what i mean like you're kind of taking action against it's like what's that line in that song you know put oh, his hands on a woman where i come from you know or whatever. Oh, okay yeah like you know that whole thing best brantley gilbert impression <laughs> <laughs> just <trying> to- <laughs> <laughs> You should stick to dustin burke because i feel like you're doing really good with dustin burke like <laughs> that's yeah. funny it diffuses that by like making very clear you don't mess with a woman like you don't or it could be a girl singing it too like it could be a female song totally you, you mentioned yep. you mentioned before like this sort of anti-pc thing yeah mm-hmm. and maybe i'm restating what you already said now that i think about it, but you know what if it's about whatever's like you're just calling out all the common sense stuff that mm-hmm. we're seeing not happen on right. the news about everything, you mm-hmm. know, absolutely everything. And it's like, you know what, just, I'm going to hit that head on, you know, it's mm-hmm. basically hit a head on as a euphemism for, I'm going to give you the truth. You know yeah, exactly. I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it might make you uncomfortable, but I'm going to give you the truth. And it could be, mm-hmm. it could be something really sort of cool like that. And if you want to come at me for that, I guess I'll hit that head on too. Mm. Yeah. Kind of like what's going on with Dave Chappelle right now. Yeah, yeah, that's is, what I was thinking. He is not yeah. running and apologizing. Now, however you feel about it, he is hitting it head on. Whether yeah. you agree with it or not, that's how he's doing it right now. He's making a stand for comedy. He's making this, you know? yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't care that you feel uncomfortable about it. Like, it's mm-hmm. funny, you know, and mm-hmm. it's okay. There's no such thing as comedy if all we're going to do is not upset people, you know? <laughs> right, I mean, yeah. you watch every cold open on Saturday Night Live and they're going to be like ripping usually on the president over the last right. 30 years, mm-hmm. you know? And it's like, if he was going to be triggered in any way, shape or form, right. then, you know what I mean? Like, then that's not funny. So it's that kind of get over the whole cancel culture and the whole mm-hmm. victim of society vibe that they're trying to mold us into, you put that out there and it's like, this is what you do. You hit it head on. You know? Yeah. And it could also go the opposite direction too, about any injustice real or perceived. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to hit it head on. I'm not going to let mm-hmm. it slide. Yeah. 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 Asylum men, right? Mm-hmm. The true evil can only happen if good men remain say silent. Nothing. Or something is that like a remain thing? silent? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All it takes for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which how misogynistic is that? Didn't even talk about women. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, <laughs> right there, I'm triggered. I'm triggered. Gum it. I'm not going to say nothing. I would. I would um, definitely be be inclined to take that direction. And the reason mm-hmm. is, like, I, like, I agree with the Dave Chappelle thing. You know, when I watched that special, the first thing I thought was, "Wow, like comedy has changed." Right? Like, I mean, mm-hmm. and I, it's almost like I had hadn't even noticed until he started speaking in that special, and I was like, "Man, I feel like." Yeah, so many things are are limited and so much is different and a lot of it's good, right? Like a lot mm-hmm. of the like society's become more awake in a lot of really really good ways. Mm-hmm. And so I think if we were, you know, to take the approach of like here's the truth and and we're going to hit this head on and then you maybe start to dig into what that truth is, you know, if we were to sit down and write this song, I'd be like feeling like we're we're trying to dodge fires around every single corner (laughs) right with that you know like honestly like that feels like kind of nerve-wracking to me to jump into that Mm -hmm. unless for sure you know but i I think like maybe i'm just not good enough of a writer to to be able to pull that (laughs) off i don't know but i mean i would be so much more inclined to take this into a direction that is like just more positive and absolute Mm -hmm. and kind of undisputable in that sense simply because i would be nervous like it's a, it's mm-hmm. a kind of a nerve-wracking thing and I'll, I'll be i'll be straight up about that like i mean even just this conversation is like you know we don't, <laughs> don't want to say anything crazy you know right and so like you don't know that's the thing right it's like you know i'll have a conversation with people who are much smarter than me about this stuff and it's like if i say something you know i, I i'm not intending it to be negative or, or anything like that but there's so many ways that it can come across like that. And if you Mm -hmm. write a line that has some sort of like negative connotation that you're unaware of, yeah, then all of a sudden, like that's going to get flipped on you real quick. And it's like, Oh man, like I didn't mean it like that. Or like, you know, I I didn't intend for that to be the message, but that's how it's getting interpreted. And I have something to add to that. This is the evil Dustin. This is the evil marketer in me. Okay. (laughs) Okay. I'm excited. What if, <laughs> what if, I mean, you throw caution to the wind on that because you're writing it on the right side. Like you are not coming from a bad place when you write that. You are not trying to say that. The lyrics clearly express that this is not anything. But if I just take something out of context in the song and try to turn that into some clickbait headline, then you can go and do it, right? Then you can get a bunch of people riled up. And then all of a sudden now there's a lot of press Mm-hmm. talking about this song and of course the artist going in saying you know what i understand everybody's feelings but i mean if you read the, all the lyrics mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so and, you know like something like me from the from the head of a record label might be taking the sort of ozzy osborne and alice cooper approach like mm-hmm. how can we piss off midwestern housewives today because <laughs> that's going to keep us in the news yeah it depends on your brand yeah mm-hmm. it depends on your brand it depends on who you are yeah and like are you prepared to handle that negative press do you have it together like do, you know what i mean can can you actually speak to them what this song is going to be talking about in such a way that it doesn't confuse people and then mm-hmm. it doesn't leave people thinking oh wait did, so did he really mean that or like so what's going on here like you have to be really concise in mm-hmm. the way that you're able to speak on the song and then comfortable taking all the hits with that taking yeah, all the, the artist has got to be able to sell it yeah. Yeah. yeah so like i mean if that's the direction i'd think as, as a song to pitch it'd probably be a really hard one to pitch yeah. mm-hmm. well that, that's a point there and i that's mean you a know valid point that's you important. don't want to have any of this that's questionable in there to pitch some of the roads we're going to go down are going to be like hey, you could write this as an artist and do what you want to do, but Mm -hmm. you're going to need to be a little bit more across the plate, a little more meatball across the plate to get this. Yeah. How about this? What if Hit It Head On is cautionary, right? What if you're Mm -hmm. talking about, Mm -hmm. and I think this could be a country song, but I think of Skid Row, 18 in Life, right? Mm -hmm. Like, Nicky was a young boy. He had a heart of stone. Mm -hmm. So what if you had a sort of thing, you're talking about, a story, a dark mm. story, right? I think of, I know where it's ending. 
yeah of a kid that you know he was always like man when it was time for the party he was always at work you know construction worker right mm -hmm. like he would take that nail he hit it head on and he was like one of those people that just goes hard to the paint on everything yeah. you know so he's hard to the paint at work and then he worked hard and he partied hard right and then at the end of the night he hit it head on too with a car with a right? car and, yeah and that was the end of the story and it's just sort of a very maybe a dark cautionary like good girls from Tim yeah. McGraw that the Warren brothers wrote. I freaking love that story. Like love that story. I got to listen. You ever, you ever listen girls? to that? I'm yeah, sure I've heard it. Good girls. I got to listen again. I think it's on maybe Southern. Southern um, voice. That one, the Southern voice. I think so. I yeah, it's called good girls. It's super, super dark, you know, and it's about these two girls that are best friends mm -hmm. and one girl invites the other girl we're going to go out drinking. We're going to drink, drink Boone's farm. Like we mm -hmm. were 17 again, we're going to howl at the moon and you can't say no, as long as we've been friends. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, Jesse lit a cigarette and said, I know my man's been sleeping around and I know who it is. And Jenny's head fell down. You know what I mean? Oh, and it's yeah. like, good girls always walk the line. Good girls never let you see them cry, you know? And mm -hmm. so then she basically at the end, she kills both of them. <laughs> and, and puts the car out in front of a train and she's like well if i can't have them neither one of us will and you know the, the only witness was a weeping willow on a foggy hill that heard jesse say if i can't have them, neither one of us will and a train hit the car like yeah. it's, it's super dark and tim mcgraw is the kind of artist that'll do that he can you know? do that yeah but it could be like that kind of a story that could be like a really sort of wicked so like mm -hmm. you could spin this maybe in a way where the two limousines or whatever, the two black yeah, Cadillacs, two black Cadillacs, Carrie yeah. Underwood, like mm. where you could make that more accessible, but make it super interesting because it tells a story. There's a moral to the story. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that would be a fun or not fun. I mean, it's dark, but still as writers fun. At, at the fun very end, it's like, and then there, you know, whatever he's drinking and driving, then he saw those headlights and he headed head on. Mm, and that's yeah. kind of where it stops. Well, that would be cool. Also, you know, more narrow pitch. I think probably the broadest one is that kind of like show opener. The yeah, or or the Brantley Gilbert Jason Aldi kind of thing. Like I get up and I go, you know, make a living, and it's times are tough, and some people want to run and whatever. But I, no, not us. We hit it head on. Especially if it's a we, it's more anthem. But or just I hit it head on. Like. You know, that's things that are uncomfortable, stressful. You kind of want to run from it. Open your phone, play Candy Crush or something for a while without dealing mm -hmm. with it, whatever, or whatever it might be. You know, if it's like your nine to five is tough, but you know what? You're going to tough it out because that's what you're made of. You know, around here, we hit it head on. And then yeah. you could go to the party thing, too. Like, and kind of work hard, play hard kind of thing could be yeah. a pretty cool anthem kind of thing. And I think we got some good looks at this, fellas. I think so. We've gone a while. Yeah. This is longer than normal. So, yeah. That's what happens when we bring cool guests on and we just uh -huh. have so much fun. And all of a sudden we promise our guests it's going to be like 15 to 20 minutes. And then we lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's so just a lure. Fun. Hey, man. Yeah, no, it's only going to take like 10 minutes maximum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the, it's the, the bait and switch, Dustin. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> well, you were brilliant, Dustin. Thank you so yeah. much for joining us. Where can people um, find you and fall in love with you? Find you and, and you gave us the socials, but this song, it's on Spotify. It's everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere. So wherever you stream it. And actually, um, what's the title again, please? So the song's called Get Go. We just mm -hmm. shot a music video for it, which I'll be announcing here. At some point, whenever we're ready to announce it, but I'm announcing it right now, baby. So I guess, anyways, yep. this video is coming out. It's super cool. And so I'm excited for that. But yeah, you can check out Get Go wherever. And like, you can find it on YouTube too, if you want. And that's Dustin Bird, B-I-R-D, just like the thing mm -hmm. with wings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. Love it. Well, once again, guys, climbers, if you've got titles, you want to send them in to Song Title Challenge, send them to info at daredevilproduction.com, put STC or Song Title Challenge in the subject line so it gets in the right folder. If you don't, it won't. And then maybe we'll pick your song and pop it out there. And uh, you're going to have like, like a super cool recording artist. And along with Brent and I, who you know, talked him into it or her into it, <laughs> we'll hash this thing out and give you some good ideas on it, guys. So that brings us to the end of another killer song titled Challenge. This podcast exists because we want you to win. So keep on climbing. And we'll see you at the top. <laughs> <laughs>